what you're looking at on Indian Trace is the only tools, hide scrapers that I keep in my display box. This is not just a pile of tools. This is nine incredible, and I know coveted, uh, tools that the people who had them needed for their everyday life. We're going to take a look at these. This is going to be a lot of fun. And I wanted just to show you this as an overview, and I just plunked this pile down. Just grabbed them out of there. It was really easy because, uh, like I said, I only have nine in there. I look at some of these. You're going to see some incredible pieces. You can already get a glimpse of them. But like I said, it is a pile of people. That's really what I'm after on Indian Trace. So I think a lot of the, the great shout outs that you've given me, and this is a Smoky Quartz, this is a, this is a great tool. We're gonna look at it in a second. Unbelievable stuff. But uh, I think what a lot of you've been able to get out of this is that what I do is I try to feature uh, the trace of the people. Not just so much the artifacts, as in materials, or uh, for the materialism of finding arrowheads or ancient Indian artifacts, but finding the people. For example, I often do book reviews. Here's one for you that I just started and has already blown my mind. I already had to pull the pen out and start underlining. Here's a good look at it. I don't know if I can get it in there, right? Here's the title. You can always pause it. Shadows at Dawn, Borderlands Massacre, and the Violence of History. Carl uh, Jacoby is an incredible writer. I've already read the introduction, I read the previews, I read the back cover, everything. Uh, these, this picture is a picture of some Apaches. Because it's definitely about a, a, a famous uh, massacre of Apaches uh, in around the late 1800s. Um, not just so much, just highlighting the, and that, that'll give you a good look at it. You can pause it and take a look at it, or even order it for so cheap nowadays. Worth a read. I'm already into it, it's just crazy, I pulled my pen. It's not just about the massacre of those Apaches. It's about uh, how human beings. It's a book about, and really, the book is um, this book here. I can't stop. I can't get away from it. The book is really a book about sociology, about how we as people could bring ourselves uh, um, to to considering other people as expendable. The genocide of the North American Indian. We can begin there, but it's happened across the face of the earth. It's it's unfathomable. Uh, and these, it just so happened that this story, which is an important story that's examined by Jacoby, uh, he examines the sociology behind it. And I'll give you a preview. For the people that massacred this group of Apaches were Mexicans, Americans, and other Indians. So uh, what's it all about, right? So let's go back in time. Because that's the historic period Indian. This is the prehistoric Indian. Stone tool makers. All right, everybody. I do have a method here, and I already have an idea of the ones that I want to look at first, and so it'll be a decent arrangement. I'm going to take this, the biggest to smallest, but just take a look at this. Some good stuff. I'll give you a real great highlight of how awesome a tool can be as well. These are not arrowheads. This is not lance points. These are blades and tools. These are working uh, machines, if you will. Things that they had to condition. Of course, hide uh, muscle, sinew uh, for their basic needs, for their clothing, for their eating, uh, for everything. And I would have loved to see, and I know that they were tools that were important to them, I would have loved to see uh, them using these exactly how efficient they were, because I know they were efficient people. That's an incredible tool, isn't it? Big. Just look at that thing. It is perfect to me. Just a great looking example. Now, let me put that one right there. Now, let's sail up to this one. Look at this piece. You're going to see some fantastic tools. I mean, look at this group right here. And this is not small, even though this one over here is the smallest. This is a smoking piece of uh, smoky quartz. We're going to get to that as a scraper. A uh, couple blades, a couple scrapers and blades, multi-tools, I'm sure. Look at this piece. i got to make sure I go slow to see if I can keep my focus going. I know I found this at the Hawk. And this other one here, right next to it, I found at the Hawk as well. 
But this tool, what I like about the really good tools is, is, is the balance and the symmetry of the shape. I keep them for that. I also keep them just when I can tell that they were just, you can, you can almost catch the outside bevel on this. They beveled that down just on that one outside edge. There you can see it. They worked it right down, even to the back. Could have been hafted in and used for something, but uh, to me, just, just fantastic stuff. I'm going to put that guy right there. Tools, right? That's what we're featuring today. I mean, look at those. It's already a good start going to it. Now what I want to show you is one of the earliest scrapers I found when I didn't even know it was a scraper. And I want you to be able to appreciate tools with me. A lot of you guys tune in here and you look for great spear points and arrowheads to find. But listen, this stuff, uh, if not more, it's more rare, that's for sure. Because what you're looking at in these nine pieces is about it. Uh, and I found thousands of arrowheads and stone points. But when it comes to fantastic tools, uh, you're looking at it for my collection. It's not like I just get rid of them uh, when I find them in there, they're just the type of balance I want. Little football here. I found this at um, the Plateau, man, four years ago, solid, maybe a little more than four years ago. And I knew it was something special. So I hung on to it. And now, after the years have gone by, I start to understand it a little bit better. I'll put that guy right there. Now, yes, they are sh just round rocks. Uh, my wife might say, oh, those are just round rocks. Listen, these are more than round rocks, especially when the repetition starts to begin. Look at this. So, next one. Let's see if I can find out where we're going to go with this. This piece of sugar quartz. Another scraper, another blade, another tool that fits in this category. Now I found this at the very top of Mecca, just going in. I never forget it, because to me, now I'm serious. These nine are it, uh, and so I have to get my brain adjusted to that. Because for some reason, we just get fascinated with the imagination of arrowheads and lance points. That sometimes these tools don't seem as important, but since they're so rare, wouldn't you figure that they're even more important? Now, some guys in some places find a boatload of tools. I don't even understand it. Um, so I'm just really speaking for Eastern North Carolina here and what I'm able to, to trace up. I mean, look at those two. These are just tools, man. Just awesome scrapers. Now, let me look at this. Another more basic one made out of rhyolite. But you can see here the shape. It's pretty awesome. And what I do is I explore my imagination with these because I'm pretty sure most all of these were used to condition hide and they were hide scrapers. And I mean you can grab a good hold of them and you could work some hide and get the tallow off of them and how important that was, you know. Just such an important thing to do. Look at that group. And we haven't even got through them. Some great stuff here. Great stuff. Let me see where I put this thing down. And I don't know. Uh, that's a little rough, but it just had the right balance for me. It had the right size. And rarity. Good stuff, right? Good lineup. Now, let's sail over here and grab another piece. We're going to go with this white. Quartz is even more rare because I only have two scrapers here that are out of quartz. And I'm taking my time. And remember, that book. Uh, I like the books that deal with North American Indian and the sociology and anthropology. Excuse me. And uh, anthropology. Not just the archaeology behind it, but the anthropology. So that I can understand uh, what these people... Now, this is Stone Age. This is archaic and woodland uh, and up. Uh, and they didn't have to even deal with close to the sociology of the late 1800s, mid, late 1700s, and the, the, the craziness that happened in the clash of cultures. Uh, the cultures were remaining the same for eons of time. 
through this period that we're looking at right here in these artifacts. But it's worth me trying to find a way to empathize, so that's why I read those books that deal with the sociology behind their bloodline uh, with all the different tribes and what have you. Look at this. Very rare white scraper. Now, I have a, a collection of smaller scrapers, and if anybody really likes scrapers, I'll pull those out. Those are, those are unique in terms of the materials as well. These are the big ones that I have. Just unbelievable stuff, right? Put that guy there, and look at we're, we're, we're lining things up. Just a wing right here. We got a group of three here. Group of three here. I got to get going. I don't want my time to cut out. So, I'm going to take this one next, which is an interesting piece I got off the Archaic. I know every, it's not just a flake, but they, they have worked this thing down. You'll see. All together. Just to serve their needs. Which I always love. So yeah, it's a piece of rhyolite. It's the brown type of rhyolite, but uh, I could just see how it was used in every way. Just to do what they needed to. Almost a thumb scraper, but a little bit bigger, if you will. All right. I'm going to put that guy right there. Look at these pieces. Crazy, right? I'm going to gamble with my time and just keep moving forward at the same speed and rate I'm doing. This is an incredible piece I found over uh, at Coyote Pass this, this, I guess, spring before the summer hit hard. Incredible piece. the hide scraper and thinking back as to how valuable the hides were and how much they needed to be conditioned for every animal and for all the hides I know that these tools uh, there was a lot of them but they were so needed but they made them aesthetically if you will very cool very nice I mean look at this lineup right here scrapers large scrapers I don't even know if I can get them all in. I'll have to do something. Just nuts. Now, I, I've been burning time, so I have one more that I just absolutely love that I'm trying to find a place for here, and I'll put him right there in the middle, is this guy, which I found this spring. Unbelievable scraper as I finish up. I look at my time and I, I've tried to take my time because I know that people have mentioned they appreciate it. This is an incredible piece. I'm not even used to seeing this kind of stone around here, this kind of flint. But it is clear in every aspect that this is a scraper. And if you could feel it in the hand, it is absolutely perfect as a tool in your hand. It would have taken care of separating the skin from the animal, scraping the tallow and the fat from the skin, which all of these could do. But uh, this, this piece is just a favorite. It's fantastic in terms of its colors. Look at that. And there you have it. A real big collection. Well, it's only nine pieces, I know, but it's big in terms of how I feel about it because I know these scrapers hold a real special place in my heart, and I just wanted to be able to show you those. Thanks for giving the time. I know it's been a little bit of time, but if you like tools, it hasn't been so bad, and I'll show you them in terms of doubles here. This might cut off, but I really appreciate you uh, tuning into Indian Trace, and I just wanted to give you a good show of these and not hurry myself too much, but uh, now my phone cuts out, that's why I talk like that all the time, I don't have all the storage room and space but uh, seeing scrapers like this and tools I don't really see on, on YouTube on this community that much so I wanted to feature some incredible tools and that just about does it thanks a lot for tuning in and that right there that's Indian Trace.